Welcome to VLC Talks. My name is Joseph Wakeland and I am the manager and head therapist at the Vision Learning Center. So welcome to VLC Talks, I'm Joseph. And today we're going to talk about Skeffington's circles. Now, Skeffington is considered the founder of modern day uh, behavioral vision therapy. So his view of vision or his model of vision is what we follow. Uh, basically, you're looking at four Venn diagrams and it breaks down how we view the visual system. So the first circle is called anti-gravity. And it answers the question of where am I? When the visual system begins developing, it starts in utero. At 15 weeks, you, a mother, can shine a flashlight on her stomach and the baby will move away from the light. The visual system is already developing at that point. So as a child learns how to use their visual system, since vision is a learned behavior, you can see them start to, put, they'll put their hands in their mouth, they'll put their feet in their mouth, they start rocking back and forth. They are figuring out where their body is. What they're learning is where they are in space. The reason that this is important is that the body is the reference point for the visual system. It lets me know where to look, how far to look, and this is where we start the visual system. So the first thing vision asks when it begins working is where am I? The second circle is centering. It's also called uh, or centering or pointing. And it's where is it? So the part of the visual system that this circle answers is directing vision. When I am looking at the camera right now, there's a lot of stuff going on, but right now I'm centering my vision. Both of my eyes are pointing directly at the lens and I'm looking there. The reason I know how to do that is because I understand through anti-gravity and body awareness where I am in space and this allows me to point and direct my vision to different points of the room. Now I'm looking at the table, now I'm looking at our cameraman Andreas, and now I'm looking back to the lens. So where is it comes after where am I? The third part is called form identification. Identification, I can't spell very well. And it answers the question, what, not where, what is it? So this part of the visual system, this form identification or the accommodative system allows us to see edges clearly and to see shapes. When your child is learning their letters, they have to see clear boundaries. So that uh, there's a difference between a five, five and an eight, or you know an A and a B, that's more directionality, but they can clearly see defined edges. So first you have to understand where you are. From that, the visual system is able to direct its vision to a particular point in space. Then the eyes, can make an object clear. Uh, let me give you a good example. If I was to throw a rock at you, first you have to understand where you are to figure out if the rock's gonna hit you. Next, you have to point your eyes and center your vision on the rock. Then you have to figure out, well, is it a rock? Is it a tennis ball? Is it, some, is it a pillow nice and soft? Or is it something that I need to move out of the way from? So the first thing you'll do is, where am I? You locate the target. Second, third, you figure out what the target is. The last circle is where language comes in and processing. This circle, I think, is what makes vision therapy so different from anything else. Um, we deal with vision as a whole body experience because it takes the entire body to learn how to use the visual system properly. So from, we have where, where am I in space, we have where is it, we have what is it, we have processing, we have thinking, we have language. And in the very center of all this, we have vision. And it comes out in this dynamic, overlapping, multi-sensory process. It's very complex. Most people, their visual system works uh, very easily. It's very fluid. But for those who don't, it, the, for those who don't have a, a you know, the visual system is not working properly, and they have to practice it. These are the steps that we have to go through in order to help them figure out how their visual system works uh, 
functionally and how it works well. So uh, there's a question of how old can you be for vision therapy? And the real answer is you could be any age for vision therapy. The youngest patients that we see in our clinic are six months of age. The oldest patients are 80, 85. It just really depends. Uh, but just because you did not do this and learn from a young age does not mean that you cannot develop these skills. Now certainly as you grow older and vision becomes more uh, concrete, it's, it would be similar to telling me to tell you to breathe in a different way. It takes practice, um, but you definitely can change the visual system at any point in a patient's life.